Now that there is um, a hard-coded or yeah, actually stored connection between this Wikidata item and this comments category, I can actually go back to the comments category. And now everything is basically in place to add a Wikidata info box, which I am going to do now. I'm going to edit the source of this category. And what I always do is on top, I then add the Wikicode Wikidata info box. There we are. And on my edit summary, I say info box, publish changes. And ah, this is always the most satisfying moment. Here we go. And I do notice by seeing it in a different constellation, in a different way that actually my Wikidata item still needs some polishing because it still has the old uh, description that it took from the uh, van der Krocht database. I want to fix that, I want to give it a better description. But otherwise this looks pretty nice. I'm very proud and satisfied because, you know, you see it is a sculpture depicts Liefenbauens with all these fantastic hyperlinks that will bring you to other comments categories. We'll make this much more hypertextual. First I'm going to fix this. Oh, and here's the coordinate locations. Ah, fantastic. Um, I'm going to fix the description and actually add a few aliases as well. Um, I, what I usually do is for public art, just say it is a statue or sculpture in city, comma, country. Um, and I make a few aliases just to, to make sure that there is no confusion with the, either person who actually also have Wikidata items. Um, sculpture of Liefenbauens. And because I'm a Dutch native, I will also, of course, add enter a label and a description and an alias in Dutch as well. Um, now, there's not really, as far as I know, a convention whether you should call statues statue of or just the person themselves. Um, I, th I kind of am inclined to, for the label itself, use statue of just to avoid confusion. Um, and make it easier to distinguish from the actual people. But yeah, there's no hard rule as far as I know. Feel free to correct me anywhere on my talk page as in the comments uh, if, you, if you are of a diff different opinion and maybe we should have a standard for this. But for now, I'm just using, I don't know, common sense and how I think it's probably most, uh, yeah, most helpful to do. Um, on built in hands, uh, and then, yeah, I'm kind of happy with this. I am actually also going to switch it around here, and I am going to do this. There we go, publish, and I have improved the Wikidata item a little bit going back to. The comments category, I am going to refresh the page as well by clicking here on my clock, which is also a preference that you can set, which purges your page. It's a nice way so you see the new description appear here. And you also see that I dis I uh, changed the label to Statue of Leaven Bounds. Um, and well, this is already extremely satisfying, but there's one more step that can be taken which is pretty new, but now we can add structured data to these files as well. So that's the last thing I'm going to do. And I am again going to use a tool thanks to, that is there, thanks to Magnus Manske. I am using the SDC tool, which I activated. Uh, it is this little thingy here in the bottom right of my page. It is very microscopic. It says SDC. And when I click it, um, it will kind of pop open and I will get the option to check boxes here for all the images in this category. And I can then add specific statements to this, to these images. I will now just add depict statements. So I will not add other statements. I will just say all these images show this sculpture. Um, why the sculpture and why not the person, Lievenbauens? 
Well, I am a purist. I actually uh, think because I just added, uh, I created a Wikidata item about a sculpture that says that sculpture depicts that person, right? And then if you are really, you know, being precise, I would say correct, but I know that some people are have a different opinion. I would say it's more precise to then say these photos don't directly depict the person. The, that person in flesh and blood is not on the photo. It is a sculpture of that person. It, it is a very specific sculpture. So these photos depict a sculpture. Um, again, if you disagree with me, feel free to engage and let's discuss this. Because it's also not yet set in stone. There's no set rules around this yet. Um, I am more for precision, uh, for you know doing this correctly. Um, I, I, just, I, I, I know that this is also confusing for some people, but this is the way, being an art historian as well, having worked with art databases for almost 20 years, this is actually what feels better to me as you know someone. But that doesn't mean necessarily I think I'm right, it's just for me that feels better, it feels more correct um, and more precise. Um, in any case, after this semantic discussion, I will just <laughs> add the depict statement. So what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to select all of these uh, photos. Now, some of these photos have the sculpture very prominently in the center. They really have this, the sculpture as the central topic, like this one, this one. I would almost say this one as well, this one as well. But then here you also see the building in the background, which is actually a quite notable building in Ghent as well. I, if I'm not mistaken, it's the Duivelstein, which houses the city archives. If I say wrong things, people will laugh at me for the rest of my life, which is fine. Um, and here you also see the square. So in these images, the sculpture is not prominent. I think uh, it's also kind of interpretation. It's kind of subjective. Um, feel free to correct it. It's a wiki, but now as the first editor, I will make the decision. And so what I'm going to do is at first, I am only going to work on those images that don't have the sculpture prominently. Um, so I'm going to uncheck the ones that have it prominently and just use this, the, just have the photos that feature the sculpture non-prominently. I'm not going to check prominent and I'm going to say set P180 depicts to this specific sculpture. Click. Uh, now the magic is happening and edits are being done for me. And we have five images in this category that are, let's say, depicts this statue but not prominently. And I'm going to select the other ones now. Uh, there we go. I am. Yes, I think I'm good here, four, four left. Uh, now I'm gonna check prominence and I am going to say that these all depict the statue prominently. And you see that it's printed in bold here, uh, so that means it's prominent. That's basically it. You can add a lot more structured data to all these photos individually. Uh, I could go to these ones and say they depict this, that specific building as well. They depict flowers, they depict sky, etc., etc., uh, an apartment building. Um, we could go and create and say and give structured data uh, to or add structured data about the creator of these, of these files, the date when they were created, the specific location, the coordinate location, etc. I'm now not going to do that because my focus was on the specific connection between this sculpture's Wikidata item and this category, which I did now. Uh, but we can go much further now. But this is the basics. This is something I do a lot. Uh, I love I love public art. I'm really you know in, super interested in it, and I just find it a nice thing to do uh, in my free time when I edit Wikidata. And this was a very typical workflow for me. I really hope you find it helpful, and I'm yeah very interested to hear what you think. If you have other tips, other ways of doing this. Um, and by all means, if you like this, go outside, um, uh, especially when the COVID virus is gone, the coronavirus is, we've gotten rid of it. Make photos of your environment, document your local public art in this way, and let's describe the world. Good luck.